December 16th. <laughs> What's that? This is the first post we did for Street League. December 16th, 2020, coming soon. I missed you. How was the car ride? You're safe. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm good. glad you're safe. Yeah. Here. Long. It's good. It's not bad. Though. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. And so there's like four like of his friends like yeah. on the balcony too. To Don't do it. I'm not gonna tell your mom you died because you're a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> and then, right to the mom. And then. Oh, oh. But it'll be like super unfair for someone that like Dennis works all the time. And they know to bite. It wouldn't be the same as if there's just someone else there. So I'm separating the two packs so it gives an equal playing field for everybody. They're already pretty much booked up, but yeah. if they can lock in, I forgot like what that. I mean, I don't, I don't anticipate tomorrow running long. I'll whisper it to you in your ears. <laughs> I don't think he's whispering that. Are we done here? Are we all good? Like, like sweet. Yeah. 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 We good? I'm sure we'll be talking as. All right, break <laughs> Oh, then they just got some tight fingers, man. Maybe. <laughs> Shit. Bro, we're good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds about something I would say in general. <laughs> I put it on the same category as the office. Oh. That's what I said, you want to cheap it. Dude, he walked in like, bring me up the juice facility. That's all. Are garlic They are. I ordered three orders of it and they only gave me one. What do we got here? Then everything? Oh. Yeah, pretty good. I finally got a picture from Matt where it's just Zilla's butt just covered in sugar. It's like, yeah, it was like, he had like a. Yeah. Make it go back in. So I had like McDonald's sugar packets there for breakfast. And so I just picked up this, tore open the packet, picked up this puppy. She's so tiny then. Yeah. And I was like. Shake off the excess. See all the shit we got on there? Put your How you feeling? Feel good. Feel great. I got it. Don't worry about it, Emmy.
One for the decoys. One for the decoys. I'm from Vida in Houston, Texas. This is Hagrid. It was a really long day, but we had so much fun. And I'm just so excited to be here. We train two to three times a week, and then the, the last week before we came here, we were training like nearly every day. Um, he's actually got foundation in PSA, and then we just switched sports. So we're really excited about this. Get out there and have fun with your dogs. I got second place, Mike from uh, the high desert, California. We train in Finland, banking. She's mixed, she's what you would call a band dog. She's mixed up. Mali, Pit, Presser, basically that's it. But this event was crazy. I've never been to an event like this. It was professional, everything was well set up. So it was just awesome, that thing was awesome. My boy Chris took me in and I was there every weekend putting in reps, 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 reps. Process, but you know, it took the whole team. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're going to be training for that one for sure. I think K9 Street League is the future. It's going to be the premier sport. So. Uh, my name is Daniel uh, Sight Watson. Everybody knows me by Sight. This is my dog Mongo. He's a black Belgian Malinois. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I appreciate you know Mike allowing me you know come out here and show my dog and you know me uh, come support. My bros and this, you know, this dog stuff. Uh, foundation work. It's foundation build. You know, let's uh, let's get this stuff together and support each other. You know what I'm saying, dude? Trying to put something together. Let's, you know, come out here and support each other. Man. Oscar Mora. I was the, the was a judge today for our first uh, K9 Street League trial, and uh, yo, it was it was awesome. We had a bunch of people come out. We had a bunch of new handlers come out, uh, some seasoned handlers come out, and so uh, you know this this just show this is just the beginning. So 
This is gonna be the first step into what I think is gonna be the next thing in dogs. It's gonna be Canine Street League, 100%. Uh, I'm, re I'm really excited for the future. Uh, so, I mean, something that stood out was just how you know brave some of these handlers were that, that came out and uh, showed their dogs for the first time. Uh, you know, not, not everybody has the heart to do that. So, you know, that stood out. And other than that, just how well organized the whole thing was. I mean, dogs were on deck, ready to go. Uh, you know, from the food vendors to the, all, all the other vendors that were here, just everything was on point, man. So just, I, I'm really excited for the future and see how, how big this thing gets. For my, for my viewers, hey, keep, go back to the drawing board, you know, uh, get to work and we'll see you guys at the next one. Let's get, let's, let's get it. I am KD Matthews. I am the founder and owner of Socratic Canine. I thought today's event has set a new standard in the world of competitive dog sports without a doubt. The bar has been raised. There were several things that stood out. First, the organization of the event. You know, when you have a first run, when you have trial number one, there's, there's always kinks, there's always things to be anticipated, problems to be had, and room for growth. Seeing what happened here in terms of trial organization, what the entire Primal Canine crew has put together for Canine Street League, this is one of the smoothest running trial executions I've seen. I spoke with a lot of people in the crowd at intermissions, and that was a consistent feedback from people. They haven't seen anything run this smoothly, and that says a lot considering this is numero uno. So when I mentioned about a new standard being set, in many ways. So one, trial organization stood out. There was no delays, there was no confusion. People got on the field, we knew what dogs were going where, and in my role commentating, that helped me do my job, but it also helped the handlers, the spectators, really enjoy this experience. That was the first big thing. Um, number two, what stood out? Just the overall presentation, the energy, the atmosphere. I've never seen that many spectators at this type of event, given the, the promotional, talk about it, but you don't see this type of turnout. And as I spoke to the crowd, there were people who have never been to one of these things before that were here and they can't wait to participate. Some of them want to go get a dog, which is ultimately want for people to enjoy their time with their dogs and enjoy this wonderful relationship you can have and participating in the community that was evident here. Ah, for everyone who knows me, I, I mean, there was a lot of people who were tuning into the live. I saw a lot of familiar faces. I got to see a lot of my students here. I got to meet some new people who follow me on Instagram and I've never met them before and they came out here just to say hi. Uh, thank you, all of you, for the support, the continued support for coming out here. And I hope that some of you who follow me now file, follow Canine Street League, that you now follow Mike Jones, the whole crew, all of Primal Canine, the decoys, even the handlers and the teams that were out here. I hope if some of my followers can be exposed to something this awesome that I can enrich their lives with their dogs as well. Any last words before you get bit or get bit? Bro, you said that already. You know, I did. Um, go hard, go home.